If you are the parent or guardian of a youth, it's important to be aware of the age of consent laws here in Canada. They're a bit complex, but they ultimately reflect an awareness that youth cannot always consent to sexual activity. Keep in mind, these are the bare legal minimums for consent. Families may have tougher rules, and that's up to you. The age of consent is 16. That doesn't mean youth under 16 can never engage in sexual activity. And it doesn't mean that folks over 16 can do everything under the sun. So let me explain it all out. 12 is the bare minimum minimum legal age at which anyone can engage in partnered activities. So this doesn't mean that 12 year olds should be going out there having a lot of intercourse. Most aren't going to want to at that age. It does mean that any partnered sexual activity, including kissing, under 12 is against the law. If youth are 12 or 13, there's close in age exceptions. So they can legally be with someone who's less than two years older than them. For example, if someone's 12, they could in theory have a relationship with someone who's 12, 13 or 14. Anyone over that age would be committing a legal offense. And that could get them into serious trouble even if the 12 year old expresses their verbal consent. So if youth are 14 or 15, their close in age exception is they can date anyone less than five years older than them. So if someone's 14, they can have a partner who's 15 or even 18, but 21 would be against the law. Keep in mind, your own family may have different values about dating and sexual activity. The law is in there to encourage folks to have sexual activity at a young age so much as to prevent youth from being exploited by someone older than them. Once youth reach 16, which is the age of consent, it's really not a free for all quite yet. Until they're 18, they're not allowed to engage in any kind of activity that exploits them. People under 18 are also not allowed to be in a relationship with someone who's in a position of authority over them. This includes obvious authority figures like doctors or teachers, but it also includes folks like babysitters or coaches who are in a position of authority over those youth. We're going to discuss pornography and sex work in a few other videos. It's worth noting though here that youth under 18 cannot consent to being involved in pornography. Having or distributing intimate images could lead to a serious charge. So keep that in mind. Youth probably should avoid intimate photo exchanges. And we're gonna talk some more about harm reduction in regards to that in another video. So while these laws may seem a bit complicated, I have to remind people that healthy relationships are often between two equals. The laws reflect that unequal ages or authority may result in non-consensual relationships for youth. And again, these laws are here even if the younger person verbally agrees to it. So that's not an excuse according to the law. So share these bare legal minimums with your youth, but also talk to your child about your family values and expectations. So your family may have rules that differ from the criminal code as far as, you know, you may not want your youth dating until they're 16. So talk to your youth about those rules. So what do you do if someone's in trouble? You can talk to Child Protection or your local police services to find out some more about reporting it. And they can also offer you some more information on this really important topic. So remember, talk to the youth in your family about these legal expectations as well as your own family values. We all have a role to play in promoting healthy relationships among youth.